Hello, hello, Manuel. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. You? I'm excellent. Thank you for asking me. How was your weekend? Uh, more or less work, work, study, and the another course of cooking class. And that sounds nice. You have a busy weekend. You and have I have a, a new project. Really? Are you going to start your business? Your own restaurant? Yes. Uh, no, open a new restaurant. Uh, must be uh, work in the, what, what do you say, teacher? Crear un concepto. Make to, a concept? Uh, to, to set up a business project. Uh, okay. It is, I, I set up a business project of Turkish coffee. Um, cookies and coffee, or that is the name? Cookies, coffee. No, Turkish coffee. Okay. Cafe Turco. Ah, Turkish. I'm sorry. Turkish. I hear, <laughs> I hear cookies. Listen, cookies. Oh, I really like cookies. That's why. So, Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey coffee. That sounds interesting. The the project the project name is uh, Cacho Cave in Instagram. Ah, okay, um, I'm going to look for that. Very interesting. Okay, let me take note of this. What's the meaning of those words? Cacho, but my last name Cuerno. Ah, okay. Cave is coffee in Turkish. Oh, very interesting. Okay, I I wish the best for your new concept. Thanks, teacher. Hello, Angelica. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? Mm, I feel very sick, but I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you are good very soon. So I don't know what happened with your classmate. It's time to start the class and they are not here with us. Only Angelica and you teacher and me. <laughs> yes, thank you. You are so punctual. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you for your punctuality. Oh, curiously said too. They are still sad for this, for the selecta. Unfortunately, ah. unfortunately, they didn't win. I don't see, I, no, no, uh, don't see the game. I, you didn't see the game. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't watch the game too. What is, eh, eh, ¿cuál fue el resultado, teacher? No lo vi. Ganamos, the, perdimos. The final score was El Salvador 1 and Costa Rica 2. Ah. Ticos. What? <laughs> Hello, welcome to the class, Jonathan, Roberto. Hello, everybody. Hi. Good evening. Teacher. Welcome to the class. Tell me, Roberto. How do you say, how do you, how do you say, fue un robo? 
Um, they uh, stole the game. They stole, stole the game. The game. Okay. Yes. They stole the game. That is what I have here, right? It wasn't a penalty. It's not a penalty. True. Hello, Hello uh, Marlon. Welcome to the class. Hazel, Tatiana, Francisco. Good evening. Sobeida, welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Roxana, good evening. welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, everybody. So, how was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su semana? Very nice. Very nice. Okay. I'm happy to hear that. Who has a Tell me, Soveda, how was your weekend? Fine, teacher. I sleep every Saturday. Oh, you sleep the whole day on Saturday. Nice. Yes. Okay. I'm jealous of you. What? I'm jealous of you. The meaning of? That is like envy, envidia. Ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And Mario, welcome. Okay, so let's start with today's class. Um, the last class we studied the auxiliary half two. Do you remember oh, that? Sorry. The last class we studied half two. Do you remember that? When we are going to use half two? Yes. Uh... For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. Okay, excellent sentence. So have to express an obligation to do something. You are obligated to do something, right? To do the laundry, right? What would happen if you didn't do the laundry? ¿Qué pasaría si usted no lava la ropa? So imagine that. <laughs> so you are going to smell um, bad, right? So, you have to do it. You have the obligation to do that. So have to. Algo que está obligado a hacer. And also vimos, I don't have to. That is something that is not necessary to do. I don't have to. No tiene que ver. I don't have to go to school on Sunday, for example. We don't need to go to school on Sunday. So that was the class. Tonight, we are going to learn about the simple pass. With regular birds, as you know, there are two types of birds, regular and also irregular birds. And tonight, we are going to start studying regular birds. So let's go then. I'm going to share with you my screen, so please let me know if you can already see it. We see the teacher. Thanks a lot. Just a second. Okay, here is the topic for tonight. Simple pass with regular birds. So simple pass for um, regular bird rules. When, as I said before, there are two types of birds in English. Some of them are regular birds and some others are irregular birds. What's the difference? The difference is that regular birds follow some rules to make the past tense. Este tipo de verbos, los verbos regulares, siguen algunas reglas para formar el pasado de cada uno de los verbos. Y los verbos irregulares, the irregular birds, don't follow any rules. No siguen ninguna regla. Entonces, ¿qué tenemos que hacer con esos verbos, con los verbos irregulares? Desafortunadamente, no hay otra manera más que aprendernos de una lista. De una lista de verbos. Pero mañana vamos a ver irregular birds. Today, focus, we are going to focus on regular birds, verbos regulares. So let's see. 
para hacer el pasado de un verbo regular, we have to follow some rules. And we are going to study those rules tonight. The first one, or the first rule is regular past simple tense is formed by adding ed to the verb. Example, loved, washed, washed started, called, listened, listened. So as you can see here, the verb is loud. El verbo es loud, reírse. Si quiero hacerlo en pasado o decir en pasado, tengo que agregarle una ed al verbo. I have to add ed to the verb. Wash is the verb. If I want to say it in past, I have to add ed. Washed, started, called, listened. So that is the first rule. Rule number two. If the verb ends in the letter E, you just add D. Si el verbo termina en letra E, solo vamos a agregar D. Examples. Liked, agreed, baked, skate. Solo agregamos la letra D. Easy. This is the second rule. Let's see the third one. If a bird and in consonant plus white, you take off the Y and add I, E, D. Si un verbo termina en consonante más Y, vamos a eliminar esta Y y vamos a agregar I, E, D. Examples. Carry, carried. Try, tried. Fry, fried. Cry, cried. So that is the rule number three. Rule number four and rule number five. We have five rules. If a verse ends in a vowel plus white, en el caso anterior era una consonante más Y, en este caso es una vocal más una Y. You just add ED. Let's see, for example, play, played, pray, prayed, enjoy, Enjoyed, delay, delayed. Some verbs that end in a short vowel and a consonant, the consonant is usually double before adding ed. So, like the case of a stop, stopped, planned, planned, hop, hopped, back, begged. So, let's see in these cases. La regla número 5, algunos verbos que terminan en una vocal corta, como la E, ¿verdad? En a consonant, the consonant is usually double before adding ed. Vamos a duplicar la consonante en los siguientes verbos. Stop, stopped, plan, planned, hop, hopped, back, begged. In this way. So, let's see again. Rule number one. It says, para formar el pasado de los verbos regulares, agregamos ed a los verbos. Rule number two, si el verbo termina en e, solo agregamos d. Rule number three, si un verbo termina en consonante, pasí, plus y, consonant más y, you take off, eliminamos la y y agregamos i, e, d. Rule number four. If a verb ends in a vowel plus white in vocal más Y, solo vamos a agregar ED. Y la regla número 5, en algunos casos en los cuales tengamos la combinación consonante más una vocal corta como la E, la consonante es usualmente duplicada antes de agregar ED. Y acá están los ejemplos de estos verbos. Stop, stopped, plan, hop, and back. Do you have any question until this moment? Cuando la penúltima letra es una vocal, se hace doble, doble consonante al final. No, es cuando tenemos esta combinación, look at this. Vocal corta O y vocal corta A en look at this. Stop. 
está aquí la vocal corta y la consonante. Entonces, duplicamos esa consonante. Plan. ¿Cuál sería la, la, una mm. vocal corta? Ajá. Porque, o, por ejemplo, play. Sería o. Oh, mm, ¿Tú quién llamado rule number five o rule number four? O sea, un ejemplo de la regla cinco. Eh, termina en vocal y consonante. Por ejemplo, play termina en vocal y una consonante. Entonces. No oh, sé, eh, me confunde. Pero ahí es es consonante. Consonante Y. Okay. ok. Ok. Listen. Play. La, la Y en inglés. Eh, it has a consonant sound. So play. In this case. Why? This is considered like a consonant sound plate, but this is not the case. So, a uh, plate, solo le vamos a agregar a devil. So, here is a consonant sound. Tenemos O y la P, ¿verdad? Que es la consonante. En este caso, A and N, que son las consonantes. Consonante corta en, perdón, vocal corta y consonante. Ahí vamos a duplicar. ¿Cuál es la vocal corta? Es O, o A, e. A N I. Ok. Gracias. Ok. Do you have any other question? Any other doubt at this part? No, teacher. No, they need me this exercise. Look at this. A movie last night. Para hacer el ver en pasado este verbo, watch. Ed. 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 Watch. Ed. Okay, excellent. I'm going to add Ed. So we watch a movie last night. The next one. Sam, the computer uh, an hour ago. D. E. Okay, excellent. I'm going to add just D. Used. Yesterday, mom baked a cake. D. 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 The next one. Iri. Letter P. D. 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 P. A short vowel and P. We have to double the consonant P in this case and add ED. So that is chopped. Teacher, what is the meaning of chop? Chop is cortar. Cortar madera. Who chopped the wood outside? ¿Quién cortó la madera afuera? ED. Then, the next one is Dan cook dinner for us Eddie. last week. Eddie. Eddie. Cook it. Cook Cook. Cook. Then we had eat. Try. I eat it. Okay. Se elimina, la, se elimina la Y y se le agrega I de. Thanks a lot. That is the rule. Try it. Try it. Try So look in this first word. It's watch. Ed, ¿verdad? No, no está sujeto a ninguna regla. Agregamos ed. Just termina en e. Entonces agregamos just d. The case of bake is the same. Chop. We have here short vowel and consonant. So we double p and we add ed. Chopped. Cook. It no tiene ninguna regla. Entonces solo agregamos ed. Right. Termina en consonante. Más y. Entonces vamos. We take off, eliminamos esta, agregamos IED, and we have the correct form of that verb in past. It cried the whole night. So let's Teacher, see the next. The yes. different in pronunciation, watch and watch, o no sé cómo se pronuncia. ¿Cómo diferenciar cuando le agrega la ED? Porque siempre watch. Okay, in this case, watched, watched. It ends with sound T. Teacher. Yes. Tell me. Eh, me quería comentar. Yo llegué a esa parte 
en la plataforma y ya yes. no pude con, con, contestar unos cuando estaban en negativo, por decirlo así. No sabía si le tenía que... Por ejemplo, había uno que decía not work. No oh, sé si ahí tenía, si ahí okay. tenía que ponerle el work. At. Ok, no, in this case, we're going to learn tonight that class of sentences. That is a negative sentences in past. En pasado vamos a utilizar didn't. En presente utilizamos yeah. don't para decir que no, ¿verdad? I don't work. Significa uh, yo, yo no trabajé. En pasado vamos a utilizar I didn't. I didn't work. Work. Yo no trabajé en pasado. I didn't work. Eh, más adelante vamos a ver eso. Don't worry about that. Tonight we're going to study that. But before to do that, we're going to study the pronunciation. Vamos a pronunciar, aprender a pronunciar, perdón, esta de deber. El final okay. de cada uno de los verbos. Hay tres sonidos. Y, y mi última y mi, mi, mi última pregunta, teacher. Cuando está con I. Por ejemplo. Por ejemplo, la número 6. Yes. Ahí tengo que ahí tengo que ponerle I E D siempre. Ah, sí. Así es. Nos sujetamos a la regla ah, okay, para okay. formar el pesado. Si es consonante Y, eliminamos la Y. Ajá, así es. Okay. Eliminamos este y agarramos I E D. Thank you for your question, Roberto. Thanks a lot. And also the question about the pronunciation. And we're going to study that in this moment. So look at this. Last weekend, I walked to restaurant. When I got there, I glanced through the menu. The waiter arrived and ordered a stick. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. So, look at this. ¿Cuáles son los verbos acá? Los verbos regulares en este pequeño párrafo. Walk, 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 walk is one. Glass. Walk, order. Glass. Order. Hand. Order. Hand. Tasted. Taste. Taste. Ok, now. Excellent. Those oh. are the birds in this no, program. All right. Okay, wait, wait a minute. Turn off your microphone, please. So let's, let's start here. Walk is the one. Termina en ED. Glance, it's in an ED2. A right, it's an ED2. An order, it's an ED2. And there are three ED. sounds. There are three sounds. Hay tres sonidos para pronunciar el final de cada uno de los verbos regulares wow. en pasado. So look at this. For example, walk. Vamos a decir walt. Walt. It's an walt. T sound. Glance, glanced, glanced. It's a ride, a ride. Para pronunciar correctamente la ED, vamos a tener que utilizar sonido de D. So we have the sound. A ride. D and it. Sound. D and it. So a ride, ordered, handed. And taste it. So let's try to read this paragraph with the correct sounds. It says, last weekend, I walked to a restaurant. When I got there, I glanced through the menu. The waiter arrived and I ordered a stick. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. So walk, this, the correct sound to pronounce ah, the past form is T, walk. 
Who wants to try to practice this? ¿Quién quiere intentar? Teacher, yo tengo una duda. Tell me. Eh, no me queda muy claro cuándo es arrive, que entiendo termina con D, yes. y handed. ¿Cómo ah. diferencio cuándo voy a terminar solo en D y cuándo voy a terminar en ED? Ok, excelente question. Y en, y en, y en T. Y en T sound too, ok. So we have the answer in the next slide. We are going to find the answer to your question. Look at this, how I am going to pronounce ED sound. How I am going to pronounce ED sound. ¿Cómo voy a pronunciar el final de cada uno de los verbos? So look at this, the first sound is it. If the verse ends in a T or D sound, use the it ending example, want, want it, need, need it. So look at this. Si el verbo termina en un sonido de T o sonido de D, vamos a utilizar el sonido IT para it, pronunciar el it. final. Eh, esos son los dos casos que tenemos acá. Hand it termina en sound D. Hand. Hand it. Termina en D. Entonces utilizamos IT. Taste termina en sonido de T, ¿verdad? Taste. Sí. Entonces el pasado va a ser taste it. Taste it. Taste it. Muy bien. Entonces si el verbo termina en D sound, en T sound, we are going to pronounce it. 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 And here are two other examples. Want. Want it. Need. Need it. Need it. Now let's study the sound T. Any of the verbs that end in these voiceless sounds. And we have these sounds. P, K, F, S, S, H, C, H, or T, H. Si los verbos terminan en estos sonidos, like... Or... Entonces vamos a tener que utilizar el sonido T para pronunciar el pasado. Held. Como el verbo help, que termina en sonido de P, ¿verdad? P sound. So, I'm going to pronounce like T. Helped. Helped. Wash. Termina en sonido. Este sonido. De sh, wash. Entonces vamos a decir washed. Washed. With T sound at the end. So, what is the meaning of this word voiceless? Cuando usted pronuncia cualquiera de estos sonidos, no hay ninguna vibración, ¿verdad? Ah, en, no hay ninguna vibración en la garganta. Pero si usted pronuncia los siguientes, como L, M, N, J, R, G, B, V, W, N, Z, hay una vibración. Esto se llama voice. Todos los, que, los sonidos que no produzcan una vibración, Vamos a tener que pronunciar como T, ¿verdad? Y esos sonidos son el sonido de P, K, F, S, C, H, C, H, o T, H. Ese es el caso de walk. Termina en sonido de K, Walk. No hay vibración. Glance. Walked. No hay vibración. Entonces decimos walk en glanced. By the way, what's the meaning of glance? What's the meaning of this word? Glance. Glance. Okay, I glance through the menu. Ese es dar una mirada. Le eché una mirada. Le di una mirada. That is glance. Le di una mirada al menú. So that is the case then. Then remember this, we are going to pronounce T when the verse ends in this boiling sound. And what happened with the sound D? Any verb that ends with a vowel sound of the sounds. Toda, ¿verdad? Let's see, todos los verbos que terminen con vocal, con sonido vocal, 
o con los siguientes sonidos. L, M, N, J, R, G, V, B, M, V, W, N, Z. Example, col. Termina en este sonido. L, so cold, cold. Play, played, played. So that is the explanation how we are going to pronounce this e the sound. Do you still have a question or is it clear? Question, do you still have a question? If there are no questions, let's see, I need a volunteer to practice this small paragraph, reading this small paragraph and trying to pronounce correctly the simple pass of every verb. Hi, Francisco. Thank you, Francisco. Sería, uh, last weekend, I walked to restaurant. When I got there, I glanced through the men menu. Menu, I glanced through the menu. Glance through the menu. The waiter arrived and ordered a stick. After dinner, the waiter hand me the bill. I left happy cause my meal tasted great. Excellent. Thanks a lot. So last weekend I walked to a restaurant. When I got there, I glanced. Through the menu, the waiter arrived and I ordered a stick. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. So let's see some other example here. After. Okay, who wants to try this? Use is with D, with D or ED sound. Vocal sound? Yes, I use it. I use it. I use it as car. I use it. Use. Okay, it's with sound D. With this sound, aquí abajo está, I used the scarf. I used a scarf. Yes, number two, the ice cream melted. Melt, the ice cream melted. Melted. The sound, the sound right? The next one, he pushed, he pushed. It's with D or with T? Push. T. 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 It will sound T. Excellent. And the last one? Studied. Excellent. Studied. Studied. I studied for the test. Studied. So sound D used. Sound ED melted. Sound T pushed. 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 Yes. And yes. this one, it is sound, study. Okay, now how, how we are going to make sentences. Ahora que ya sabemos cómo hacer un verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? La like adding ed, ya vimos las reglas, the rules. We study these five rules to make the simple fast tense of regular verbs. And also we know how to pronounce them. Ya sabemos cómo pronunciarlos, ¿verdad? We are going to learn how to make sentences sin paz. Cómo hacer oraciones en pasado. And to make a sentence in simple past with regular verbs, we are going to use this structure. We are going to need a subject. We are going to need the verb in the past tense. And we are going to need a complement. Subject plus verb in the past tense. Last compliment. So look at these examples. I studied on Sunday. To watch television. 
she stayed at home. We shopped for the groceries. They exercised on Saturday. Then let's see the next one. Look at this verb. Do you know the meaning of this verb? Conocen el significado de estos verbos? Vivir. Disfrutar. Disparar o detenerse. Yes. Saltar. Saltar. Estar. Permanecer. Como quieto. Permanecer. Ok. So Uy, um, quieto. Yes. All of these five birds are regular birds. Live, enjoy, stop, jump, and stay. They are regular birds. So we are going to need the simple past form of this bird to complete these sentences. The first one, they is the subject. So we are going to the bird, the cruise. They enjoy it, the cruise. Okay, excellent. Let's see if that is the correct answer. Yes, they enjoy the, the cruise. Oh, teacher. Thank you. Let's see number two, the car. The car stop at the light. Okay, excellent. The car stop at the light. Stopped. What is the final sound? Stop. Stop it. G it's T it's sound, right? You are right. Things are not stopped. Excellent. The frog, very height. Jump, jump, jump. Jump is very high. Okay. The sound is D, T, or E. Jump, jump. Okay. Jumped. Jumped. It's with T, jumped, rose, lived, home alone. Yeah. Okay. Stay. 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 Rose stay home alone, and he lived in Rome long time Leave. ago. So I stayed, lived. Los últimos dos son con sonido D, with this sound. Y acá podemos ver la estructura que acabamos de aprender. Sujeto, subject, in there, in simple past, in complement. Así de fácil. Hacemos una oración. We just need, sorry. Solo vamos a necesitar un sujeto. I, there, in past, studied. And complement on Sunday. In this case, she is the subject, stayed, is the verb, at home, the complement. So let's see how to say negative sentences. Como decir oraciones negativas. So look at this. Lo que preguntaba el compañero, ¿verdad? Some minutes ago, we need to use the following structure to make negative sentences in simple pass. Uh, pueden apagar su micrófono can you please turn off your microphone I can listen to their friends thanks a lot thank you very much so let's continue with the class so we are going to need a subject to make this question we are going to need a subject did then the auxiliary do in pass is did in this case, we're going to use did not. Y esta es la contracción, ¿verdad? La contracción de did not is didn't. Very in present. Cuando es una oración negativa, el auxiliar va en pasado. El verbo va en presente. Más un complemento. So look at this. Anteriormente teníamos el ejemplo, I studied on Sunday. Yo estudio los domingos. Ahora quiero decir, yo no estoy. Perdón, yo no estudié, ¿verdad? yo no estudié el domingo. I didn't study on Sunday. Entonces tengo que utilizar el sujeto I. Auxiliar didn't study on Sunday. Yo no estudié o no, no estudiaba ¿verdad? en los días domingos. You didn't watch television. 
Usted o tú no viste televisión. She didn't stay at home. Ella no estuvo en, en casa. She didn't stay at home. We didn't shop for groceries. No fuimos de compras, ¿verdad? They didn't exercise on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Saturday. Ellos no se ejercitaron el sábado. So look at this. El auxiliar es el que va en pasado. Didn't. El verbo va a ir en presente. So let's see the next exercise. Let me see. Let's practice. ¿Cómo sería esa oración? I didn't help my sister. Thanks a lot. That was so fast. Eso fue muy rápido. Very good. So, I didn't help my sister. Yo no le ayudé a mi hermana. I'm sorry for her. Let's see the next one. He didn't wash the car. He didn't wash this car. Thank you, Jonathan. He didn't wash his car. His. Él no lavó su carro. He didn't wash his car. Let's see the next one. We didn't play golf yesterday. Play golf yesterday. Okay, excellent. So we have, we didn't play golf yesterday. The next one. Teacher. Yes. Ahí es cuando es en pasado, ¿verdad? Sí, aquí estamos diciendo oraciones negativas en pasado. Okay. Uh, I didn't help my sister is the first one. So, yo no le ayudé. That is in past. Ya sucedió. He didn't wash his car. El fin de semana pasado, él no lavó su carro. Then, we didn't play golf yesterday. Ayer no jugamos golf. Number so, four is the boys no. playing a, a trip to Mexico. Thank you. The boys planned a trip to Mexico. And the next one. Susan with Peter. Dancing. The dancing what? Okay, you are near. You are near to, to say the sentence. Susan with Peter. Uh, Susan, Susan with Peter. Susan dance dances the words. Oh, you are near. Sure. You are near. Oh. You didn't. Look at this. Oh, yeah, this is an Peter dance the walls with Susan. Okay. That's Peter the dance the walls with Susan. Thank you, Hazel. Thank you. That is the correct sentence. And uh, this is an affirmative sentence. Okay, we have both here. The first three are negative sentences and the other two are affirmative sentences. The boys planned a trip to Mexico. Peter danced, Peter danced the world with Susan. Teacher. Yes. What is the meaning world? Waltz. Waltz. Uh, Waltz. El Waltz. Ah, Thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you for your question. Thanks a lot. Let's see, here I have the answer. So I didn't help my sister. We didn't play golf yesterday. Peter danced the world with Susan. He didn't wash his card. The boys planned a trip to Mexico. A volunteer to read the sentences, please. Who wants to practice? Me, teacher. Thank you, Manuel. I didn't help my sister. He didn't wash his car. We didn't play golf yesterday. Golf yesterday. We didn't play golf yesterday. The boys 
planned, planned a trip to Mexico. Peter danced, danced the waltz with Susan. Okay, excellent. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Me too. Okay, Eric, go ahead. Do it, please. I didn't help my sister. He didn't wash his car. We didn't play golf yesterday. The boys planned a trip to Mexico. Peter danced the waltz with Susan. Thank you very much. Excellent job, thank you. So do you have any question? Do you have any question about this topic? I only question, teacher. Tell me, what is your question? I want to see the, the rules one more time, please. Oh, the rules, okay. Uh, for the pronunciation or how to add ed? No, the rules, the rules. Uh, Five rules. The five rules. Five rules. This is Thanks. rule for number take one. A, for take a picture. Um, I'm going to share with you the presentation after the class. Ready? Let me know. Can I show you the next one? The number four and five teacher, please. Okay. Can you have? Thank you. Thank you very much. Any other question? Any other doubt? No teacher. No, okay, excellent. Then let's do another practice. I'm going to finish the presentation. Let's see. Okay, here we go. I'm going to share with you this. Okay, I'm going to write a let's see, a bird, and you are going to tell me what is the final sound. Let's see, for example, hate. This is a regular bird. Hate. Hate it. No. Okay, let's see. Uh, first, what is the past form? ¿Qué tengo que agregarle ese verbo? ID. Just did. Now the pronunciation. Hey. 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 Okay, we're going to put up this line. It. Hey. Hate it. ¿Por qué razón decimos hate it and no hate it? Do you know the reason? Because the, the T is like R, hate it. Ok, excelente. Cuando tengamos una letra T between two vowels en medio de dos vocales, like in this case, the vowel A and the vowel E, we are going to pronounce this line and uh, vamos, uh, va, vamos, vamos a pronunciarla como una R suave. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. It's like soft R. Una R, pero una R suave, ¿verdad? No como la que utilizamos en carro, por ejemplo. 
a soft, a soft R. It's like hate it. Hate it. De acuerdo? So that's the reason why. Let's go with the next bird. And let's see this one. Wash. I'm, I'm going to add washed. ED sound in the pronunciation T. with D or T. 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 Okay, with T sound. Can you pronounce that better in past, please? Washed. 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 Okay, washed. Excellent. Washed. Let's see the next one. Oh, look at this. This is the most beautiful bear. Love. D. 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 Okay, we yes, a D love and the sound is love it. Loved. Love it. D is love it. Okay, is with D, T or E D. D. Okay, D. the correct sound to pronounce this is D. Love. 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 Loved, 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 loved. Let's see the next one. Este es un verbo que no muchos nos gustan. Clean. <laughs> ed, ed. Okay, ed. we are going to add ed, and the pronunciation is clean, 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 or clean. 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 D. The sound is D. D. Clean. D. Yes. D. The sound is D. All right. Let's see the next one. Let's see. Este es otro verbo que no nos gusta mucho. E D. E D. E D. E D. Work. And the pronunciation. Word. Word. T. Okay. Excellent. The sound is D. Word. 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 With D sound. Excellent. So now let's see the next one. It's called. Cold. Cold. E D. E D. E D. 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 Oh. The sound D. is. Cold. D. Cold. D. D sound. Cold. Can, can you pronounce the word? Cold. 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 Hold. Excellent. Let's see the next one. What is the meaning D. of this bird? D. 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 And this correct sound is? D. D. Smile. D. Smile. 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 Excellent. Then let's see the next one. Just a second. This is the bird. Okay, we're going to add ED. And we're going to pronounce this with sound. Sorry. We're going to pronounce with this sound. Start. Start it. Start it. Start it. Start it. Okay. What about this other one? What's the meaning of this bird? Ed. 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 And the correct sound to pronounce it? The sound is T. Land. 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 D. D sound, are you sure? Land it. Land it. Uh, e D. Land it. Ah, okay. Land it. E, this is the correct Landed. sound. Land. Land it. Land it. And what's the meaning of that bear? What is the meaning? Land. La la land. Hello. Land tierra. is uh, tierra that is as a noun and as a verb. Landing an airplane. Uh, 
elevar. Aterrizar, aterrizar. 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 That is in the meaning as a bird. Mm. So let's see this one. Enjoy this bird. Enjoy is another regular bird. What's the meaning of this bird? Disfrutar. Disfrutar. Excellent. And the simple past form of enjoy is eating. Eating. With eating. With eating. So change. Enjoy it. No. No. Change. No. Change. No. Enjoy it. Like the sound. The enjoy. Enjoy it. This is the correct way. Enjoy it. And the pronunciation is with sound. D. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. What about the next one? Chase. L. Oh my God. Cried. 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 With the sound. Enjoy. ¿Por qué no aplica lo del IED? Ajá, acaba de hacer una pregunta. En okay. Enjoy, what is the difference with... Porque el vocal. vocal no es consonante. Okay. Yes. Una, una vocal corta. Ok, Por thank eso you. es la diferencia. Ok, thank you. That's different because the Y is a vowel sound. It's not a consonant. That's why enjoy it. Enjoy, enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So let's see. Can you tell me a sentence in past using hate it? In affirmative sentences. I hate the English. <laughs> really? <Yes. laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. No, it's a job. Okay. Okay, this is a good example, but <laughs> so let's see. I hate it English. No, but it's in past, right? So now he loves ah, yeah. I hate it English. Yeah. <laughs> but now I love I, it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it English, but now I love it. Excellent. Thank you. We put wash. I wash, I wash my car. Okay, excellent. Thank you. I wash um, my every weekend. I washed my car. In this case, I can I can use every weekend because every weekend is for simple present. Es una expresión oh. para simple, presente simple. Yo hago esto cada semana. In Each. this case, we can use last month. Last week, I, the, each week, la semana pasada. Okay, I washed my car last week. We can say this, la semana pasada, or oh, yesterday, last month, last year, el año pasado, el mes pasado, and so on. The next one with love. I love, I love my shoes last week. I loved my shoes last week. Last week, okay. Look at the meaning of this sentence. I loved my shoes last week. Yo amaba mis zapatos la semana pasada, pero ahora ya no. What happened? <laughs> Probablemente se, arru tacón. se arruinaron, tacón. se le cayó el tacón, perdió color. Tiene un cubo. No. Se le vio a una amiga. Ah, ok. La amiga tenía unos iguales, entonces ahora ya no. Ok, let's see the next one. Vamos con lo siguiente. I cleaned eh, my computer. Ok, excelente. I cleaned. I cleaned my, my computer. 
I computed our negative sentences con los siguientes verbos, oraciones negativas. Can you tell me some of them, please? I called my mom yesterday. Uh, yesterday. I didn't. Ah, I didn't. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't call my mom yeah. yesterday. Ah, yeah. okay. I didn't call my mom yesterday. Thank you. That is a good sentence. She Pronto. didn't work on Pronto. weekend. Didn't. 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 I didn't work mm. on weekend. No trabajé el fin de semana. I didn't work on weekend. Excellent. Next one. I didn't land. Ah, no, sorry. I didn't smile. Falta una de teacher. And which one? Ah, didn't. yeah. Yes, yes. Didn't. Thanks a lot. Didn't. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. That is the question. Okay. I didn't. I didn't smile. Well, my dog died. I didn't smile to my ex. Ex, ex, <laughs> ex girlfriend, ex boyfriend. <laughs> um, let's see the next one. Enjoy. I didn't enjoy what? I didn't enjoy the match of La Selecta. Okay, the match. Salvador versus Okay, I didn't enjoy the match. Eh, Salvador versus Costa Rica. So, de esa manera eh, hacemos el pasado de los verbos regulares pronunciamos la terminación ED y hacemos oraciones afirmativas y oraciones negativas. Do you have any question? No, teacher. No, teacher. no, teacher. no question. Okay. Um, please don't forget to keep working on the platform. Exercises. Um, ya están en la sección 4, sección 5, right? Yes? Yes. Section 4. Okay. Section four. Four. Section four. Section four. Section four. four. Okay. So keep working on that, please. Uh, tenemos que terminar, ¿verdad? Antes de la última clase, antes de la última sesión virtual, tiene que estar todo terminado. Las dos secciones, four, five, and also the final exam. So please keep working. I'm sure that you can do it, right? If you have any doubt, any question, write on the WhatsApp group, please. We are ready to help you. So thanks a lot. Thanks, and teacher. Have a Thank good teacher. night. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good See night. you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Night. Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. See you tomorrow.